What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? So I wanted to talk to you about an upcoming free unit. She should be free if we get the same thing as JP, which I think is very likely. So the, re the only reason I know about this is because I actually played the JP around this time version because I saw one of Cavage's videos and I was like, oh, I kind of want to check that out to see what it's like. I wanted to pull Megamon and see if I could build them up and stuff like that. And when I did, I basically, um, this basically came up like a week or two later. And it was a very challenging mission, especially because my account was new and I didn't really have much. But it, it was a very rewarding thing to be able to do this and get this pretty good character. So I wanted to kind of just talk to you guys about it. Her name is going to be Shurma. That could change in Japanese. It's actually Shurma. So that could that could be an L or an R, depending on how it's pronounced and how they translate it. Um, as you can see here, it's a it's the acquisition method is event and the limited time time limited is yes. So we're only going to have a limited time, pretty much like any other free character. Her shards are going to be similar to Crace's shards, where we have to do a bunch of missions, then we have to do an EX and a Brutal. So that's how we're going to get the shards, and there's also going to be a multi-Brutal. Um, that's, <clears throat> that's if nothing else changes. So definitely... I want you guys to be able to be prepared for that because this is going to be a very good unit. So let me kind of go back in time a little bit here to a JP user's YouTube channel. I took a few screenshots here and basically what this is is a bingo board. And on top of the normal shards that we usually get for our free units, she also got a bingo board. So the way the bingo board worked is it would help you build her up to level 99, to level 100. But as you build her up, you get rewarded with the, if you look on the right here, you get some mind spheres and some, you know, awakening materials. And you get all the way up to, as it says here in the Japanese text, 100, 200, 320. So you get 320 from the bingo board. I believe the other 80 were somewhere it might have been in the shop or it might have been as part of the missions but i believe you do get all 400 of the mind spheres so basically you have to build her up like you do get a lot of quote unquote free materials here but you do have to work on her and you have to build her up and you have to get all her shards within the period of the events i mean i guess you could cheat and use the barracks but you, sh you should be able to get them all as long as as long as you have a decent account if you have a newer account like you might want to start preparing like maybe a tank or a healer so that you can join the multi brutals and you, you can sort of just contribute i think those are the two easiest ways to contribute to a multi brutal quest is either be a healer or a tank but as i said you have to build her so the the way you complete the bingo board is by actually EX awakening her. So that's how you get to level 100. You have to unlock her level 100 skill. And then you get the, the Blossom of Paradise here. And you get however many of these rewards on the side uh, in terms of uh, getting the Mind Spheres and getting the last few rows of the bingo board. You kind of need to you kind of need to finish everything. It's kind of what I'm trying to say. So <clears throat> if we go back here to the unit builder on WOTV Calc, you can see here, I what I did here was I maxed her out on level and I gave her, you can take my word for this, but I gave her whatever the equivalent of magic attack up here and I left her without any vision cards. And as you can see here on level 120, she actually gets 551 magic which is very, very high. Um, I'm going to compare her to Medina. Medina at 120 with, with her magic attack up here. She gets to 645. Now, granted, that's Medina. Level 120 pretty much decked out Medina there. But if we compare her to some other units that we have here in Global, Miranda, who's also a red mage. I forgot to say that. She, uh, let me go back to that, actually. She's going to have Red Mage, she's going to have Kultadama Wielder, and she's going to have Green Mage. So that's going to be 
those are some really good jobs. Uh, she's going to have like jamming thrust and stuff like that. So that's going to be really good. She doesn't have Imperil. And honestly, I, ha I had a lot of trouble trying to figure out the Japanese translation for the Cult of Dama Wilder. So if you guys want to research that on your own, I'm kind of just trying to give you a base level here. So, but if we go back here to Medina, you can sort of see, all right, we were up to Miranda. Miranda's got a max of 336 magic with nothing on, with all her stuff at level uh, 99. And then th the thing with Miranda here is that she doesn't actually have a magic attack up support skill. So she she's kind of limited there as to how high she can go. So already we're kind of eclipsing a UR unit, like equivalent UR unit. So this unit is going to be really, really good. Um, granted, Miranda's not necessarily uh exclusively a magic attacker she has time age she has paladin so she kind of has different roles there uh so what i kind of did was i brought up a couple of other uh mages and here we have skahal skahal actually has two magic attack ups as support skills so his max at 99 is 500 so she's going to be able to surpass even Skahal. Skahal is no joke, guys. He's basically Lightning Medina. So that's going to be really good. So for a free unit to be sur surpassing Skahal, that's pretty good. We also have Sakura here. She gets the 509 magic. And she also has two magic up skills here. So that's another very strong UR unit that we are going to be able to surpass here in terms of the magic stat. Now, why do you think they made this unit? Let's take a look at who I believe she was designed to counter, and that would be Titus. So Titus, obviously, he is a uh, water element. And here we, I'm just on his uh, stat screen. So basically, what I wanted to show you here is that he is actually weak to lightning and magic. So she is kind of designed to counter Titus. However, I'm not going to say she's the perfect counter to Titus, but she's kind of there to kind of help you against Titus, essentially. So I think that's going to be a really good character to build and definitely be ready to build her, guys, because it's going to take some doing. It's not going to be like impossibly hard, but it's going to take some doing and you have to do it within the two weeks or whatever it was. Uh, next up, I wanted to talk about Etra. So this is Etra's EX. Unfortunately, I don't have the builder for her. Uh, for some reason, WOTV Calc didn't put in her EX ability, but I did see that the, the same YouTube channel also had an EX Awakening for Etra, and she actually does have an EX Awakening here in WOTV Calc. They just didn't add her to the builder for some reason. Um, let me pause here. Okay, so I brought up her EX job abilities here. And let's kind of just go through them. Uh, so the first one is called Buster Fist. I, so I actually don't know if this uh, is an enhancement to a specific ability. Uh, the second one seems like it's an enhancement to the Doom ability. I forget what that's called. Ugh. I am so sorry. I should have countdown. That's what it is. I don't know what what this is the enhancement to, but as you guys can see here, it deals damage to targets, and there's a chance to inflict confuse or berserk for three turns. Confuse and berserk. So interesting that they would choose berserk because that's something that's on King Mont's limit break. So I guess the berserk meta is coming. The second ability here is a support ability. It raises magic HP slash attack resistance and piercing attack resistance. So that's actually pretty good. It's going to give her a little bit of tankiness. And then her EX ability, her third EX ability here is a chance of defeating, inflicting doom on target. So that seems pretty much the same. Uh, so yeah, in terms of that, um, I don't really have much to say in terms of that just because the builder isn't really here. 
but I was also kind of just looking at 9s and so 9s is weak to earth and he's also neutral to striking so I don't think she's going to necessarily be a counter to 9s because I like I don't really see like 9s as like the meta here he's kind of more of, of a support and actually I think more people are kind of building their 2b to be like the sort of problem thing that everybody's gonna be afraid of so even though she does technically kind of counter uh 9s i think i think it'll just be good to have her just to have a an ex unit unfortunately i don't have the stats for you guys because it's a little hard to navigate all this japanese stuff with upcoming uh units uh so that's kind of why I generally don't like to look forward. But as you guys can see, I don't exactly rem remember how this works. Um, that's sort of her base attack stat. Uh, she gets more attack on a status board. And this is the EX attack stat. And she gets more attack stats on the stat board. So figure that out how you may, but she is also going to be another you know decent mr unit that's going to be put above and beyond sort of the other mr units so you might consider her as part of something uh, some team that you might want to use against a meta team and just sort of think of her along the lines of a another strike support uh, another strike unit so we're finally getting a little bit more strike support and you could probably team her up with the Ziza EX, maybe Raldor, something like that. And it's sort of, you, you can sort of see that like strike is actually slowly coming into the game. I know Tifa's in the future, but it's good to have some sort of, of strike here before we get to that point. So guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And I probably won't do too many forward looking videos like this but i feel like this is very needed right now because it feels like people are so like overwhelmed by sort of the meta and you know paying players that are able to max out their 120 units and their vcs and stuff like that so i just wanted to you guys to be able to see that we do have some support coming out for you know the free to play and like the lower level users and you guys are going to have something okay it's not going to be perfect but you guys are going to have something to help you out against what's going on right now so that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next video take it easy